to come and take a look. As you can see, all the all the vegetables have almost become like a sauce. The spaghetti is almost done. The way you can tell that if the spaghetti is done, you just get one. Very hot. Get one. And then taste it. If it's a little hard, it's not done. You can cook about maybe another three, four minutes. It's a little tardy. A little. Now here, the sauce is almost done, but the problem here is that the meat was actually frozen, so it's probably still uncooked in the middle. So we want to take out the meat, only the meat. As you can see, it looks like it's cooked, but when we cook it, when we cut it, it might be a little pink inside. But regardless of whether it's pink or not, we want to cook it so that it disperses the meat evenly in the sauce. So basically we're making chicken spaghetti. So we just cook very simple slices like this, little slices. This 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 piece is very small, so it looks like it's almost cooked fully. I'm not so concerned about the little pieces, I'm more concerned about the bigger pieces. But you know, bottom line, whether it's cooked or not, you want it in small pieces so it disperses it. So every bite of spaghetti has a little meat. So we're just cutting it like you would for like a chicken salad, little pieces. Thank goodness this time it almost cooked through for all pieces. See, it's a little pink. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's why we cut it. A lot of people think, oh, it's cooked. Outside is all cooked, it's cooked. No, chicken is a little bit more complicated. A little bit, not much. As you can tell, it was not hard to cook the meat. Just put in the sauce. A lot of people think cooking is so hard, but it's not hard, it's just a little bit of time consuming and preparation. Cooking, 90% of cooking is preparation. These days fresh food is so expensive, so cooking with frozen meat is sometimes very useful. I would preferably like to cook with fresh food, always, but finances and time don't allow that to happen. So here we have all the pieces sliced, we just put it back. Okay. So, and then once we put it back, we just mix it all back into the sauce. And let it cook one more time. And this gives the meat a really, really fresh tomato taste. It's very yummy. Okay. Who's next? Okay. Come take another look. The sauce is ready. The noodles are ready. The last, the last step, we take the noodles. We strain the water out. It's a little heavy, so be careful. The water is very hot, so be very careful. We strain. Very nice. Put this, so this is ready to go. I have my helpers take the noodles, put it on the red table, red table, and the sauce is ready to go. Take this in. All right, come and check it out. Oh, oh. Oh, so the sauce is ready. Yummy. All right, pause. Pause. All right, uh, this is our finished meal. So basically, all you have to do, get your plate, Put the spaghetti, it's very hot. <laughs> I don't have a spaghetti scooper, so you just have to kind of do good with this one. Actually, I can use this one. Okay. Like that. Then you just scoop whatever sauce you want on top. And 
Voila! Spaghetti is done. Oh. Okay, done. Thank you.